imagine that one day you would be invited to Shark Tank and you would make a successful pitch. But you wonder what goes into a successful pitch that secures an investment? Have you spent countless hours in college canteens sitting and talking with your friends about you, how about you can sell an idea to secure investments? Our Shark Tank enthusiasts in the audience must know that it's not just about having a groundbreaking idea. It's about how well you sell it. It's about managing your pitch, your product, and your audience's expectations. It's about sales. Selling not just a product, but a vision, a potential, and a solution. To become pro at sales, one needs to understand the basics of sales and management. And that is what we are here for today. Good afternoon, one and all. I, Diksha Sharma, from BA English Honours, second year. And I, Yusha Rajas, from BA English Honours, second year, are thrilled to be your hosts. Before we begin today's special lecture, me and Diksha would also like to pitch an idea to you. How many of us here have a smartphone? Let's have a show of hands. People who are not raising your hands are assuming you're primitive beings with no smartphones. Nah, right? So all of us have a smartphone. Great. Perfect. Okay. Now take out your smartphones and open the sound settings. Set your phones on silent because today the only calls we want to hear are those of that closer sale. We promise you that today's special lecture will be insightful and engaging. Our guide for today will be Mr. Sherwin Singh, Growth Lead at Diva India. He is also a sales professional and an educator who will be sharing with us the basics of sales and management, the power of a well-managed sale, career opportunities in sales and the universal applicability of sales skills. This special lecture is for everyone, irrespective of what academic background you are from. The transferability of sales skills make it an essential skill for all. I mean, you have two English honor students to host this lecture on sales and management. That itself tells a lot. But before we begin, we request Ms. Ritika Israni, Assistant Professor at Bharti Vidya Bhavan College, to introduce Mr. Sherwan Singh to our audience. Thank you, Piyusha and Diksha. A very good afternoon to one and all. Uh, we are delighted to have Mr. Shawan Singh with us today to deliver a special lecture on career trajectories in sales from entry level to executive. Yes, we welcome you, sir. A round of applause, please. <laughs> this lecture is a part of Bharti Vidya Bhavan College special lecture series. Mr. Shravan Singh is the growth lead at the Burundia. He completed his MBA from Symbiosis, Pune. He has 18 years of work experience in the education industry. His expertise includes a vast array of subjects like sales function, business development, marketing strategy, financial analysis, customer relationship management, B2B and B2C operations, and franchise development. He has a remarkable understanding of the current consumer marketing landscape in both online and offline modes that includes ATL and BTL activities, brand promotion, social media, and much more. He has worked with leading brands in the education industry such as Pearson Education, Z Learn Limited, Dibber International Schools and more. We extend a very, very warm welcome to Mr. Shravan Singh at Bharti Vidya Bhavan College. We welcome you, sir. We also request Ms. Ritika Istrani, ma'am, to felicitate Mr. Shravan Singh with Bhavan's publication and souvenir. Thank you so much, ma'am, for introducing Mr. Sherwin to our audience. 
We are sure that today's special lecture will prove to be an insightful one. On that note, we would like to invite Mr. Sharman sir to take over and begin this much awaited session. Okay, 
बीकॉम ओके इंग्लिश ऑनर बीकॉम ओके वेल्स ठीक है बीबीए ओ वाव लवली लड़ो लड़ो नंबर्स एंड इकोनर्स ओ वाव ग्रेट so we have lot of lot of interesting audience today right i'm sure you're going to like what i'm going to tell you right now so uh, the topic we have or i have given to uh, ma'am is you know to talk about sales and i'm sure everybody know what is the trajectory i'm sure everybody knows that so what is exactly is the trajectory we are talking about anybody from here anybody Anyone like to answer what exactly trajectory is all about? Anybody from BBA, please? Ma'am, you are you knowing this answer? What is the trajectory is all about? What the meaning of trajectory? Any any uh, guesses? Anybody from you? Okay, very nice. Anybody from this side? Nobody. Sorry, can you clarify, please? Okay, path direction. Okay, great. So, uh, as you know, when you want to lead somewhere, you need to use the right path. Am I right? Am I right? Yes. I can hear you again. Yes. Okay. So, what is important that which path you choose going to lead you to the destination? So. Choosing the right path is you guys going to do it. You guys going to choose the right path for yourself. Okay, then you going to succeed. Okay, now uh, moving on to the next slide. These are the key things we going to cover. If anybody want to make a note, want to write something, please make sure these are things we going to cover. So first thing we going to talk about what is sales. I'm sure by now who are in second year. Or even in the commerce student, they know what is sales. Or in commonly, we know what exactly sales is, right? So, what is sales? When it happens? How it happens? Who is going to do that? All of that. And then, understanding as a process and in our daily life. Yeah. So, you believe that sales is everywhere? I, I, I am going to tell you how it is going to happen. Okay, then. Uh, talk about successful sales people, who they are, what they do, what trades. So, if, if in this crowd, if I see people who want to be a sales professional, how are we going to do it? You know, so we're going to throw some light on it. Then, obviously, we'll be talking about career opportunities. Now, every student who are here to study, to make a career out of this education, what you are getting right now, is very, very important. So, we'll be covering that, uh, the, you know, career sessions. And also, at the last, we'll be covering all the Q&A you've got. So, anybody has any questions? Please, I request, write them down, keep it yourself, while after the completion of the session, I am going to address all the questions you've got, within my capacity to answer it, okay? In this particular domain we are talking about today. Okay, right? So, when we uh, look at sales, what exactly sales is? Selling. Sorry? Selling. Selling. Okay. Any more answers from BBA? So I, I did BBA honors, so I know the same subject you guys have studied. So I'm sure by now, one or two years, we have learned what exactly sales and marketing and the difference and all of that, right? Okay, great. Any, any more answers from this side? What is sales? Okay. Uh, I'll move on to this side. Guys, could, could you answer me what exactly sales is? Promotion. Okay, it's kind of a promotion. Okay, what else? Mm, yeah, it's the same thing that what exactly that lady told me. Okay, anything else? Oh, yeah, please go ahead. Yeah, it's a transactional process between a consumer and the seller. Very true. Very true. Thank you. Give a round of applause for her. What's your name? Uh, Ashmita. Ashmita. Okay. Panek Bhalo. Well done. So I happen to be a Bengali, uh, I haven't studied in a Bengali school. That's why I know Bengali. Just to add on. Okay. Now, you can see 
मल्टीपल इमेजेस हेयर ऑल आईज हेयर ऑल आईज हेयर प्लीज ओके वॉट यू सी हेयर सो वॉट एज आई से दिस so which which picture i should point out to anybody which picture demand no wrong answer anybody else no you have no wrong answer what is sales uh the bridge fund oh you nailed it again thank you so much wow great please guys round of applause for her Not for me, for her, at least. Okay, so what sales is about? It's about bridging the gap. So you know we have got manufacturers, okay? Whether it is automotive, car, product, bike, shampoo, clothing, whatever. And there is a customer on the other end. So what a sales team does is bridge the gap between the two. Unless unless the gap is bridged, there is no exchange of hands. There is no exchange of value. There is no sales. Do you believe it's the right picture I picked? Everybody, I can see guys there little busy on their uh, mobiles. May I know what is so interesting? Just share with me. Also, I'll, I'll put it on the projector to know if it is more interesting. Everyone, I'm sharing with you. Okay, great. Anyways, so we moving on to the next. But why are sales is happening? Uh, you want me to be bilingual? आप चाहते हैं हिंदी में बात करूं या मैं सिर्फ इंग्लिश में बोलूं आपको सबको समझ आ रहा है ओके ग्रेट सो विच विच इमेज आई शुड चूज नेक्स्ट हाउ मेनी डिमांड प्लीज रेज योर हैंड वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन ओके एंड वट अबाउट अदर्स Okay. So yeah, the right answer is demand. Why? Because if there is no demand, there is no supply. If there is no demand for products, services, goods, why would somebody make product? I'm sure everybody must have read about uh, industrial revolution in economics. What happened then? Why this industry went those days? What was the reason? May I know? The supply becomes two x, five x, ten x. There was no market at all. So things went haywire and collapsed. So then people started realizing, oh, we need to know the customer. We need to know the market. We need to know when they want it, why they want it. So that's how where the demand and supply meets. you know and that's why i have chosen this picture of demand right and uh, let me know when it happens uh so it's been already answered so when there is a exchange of goods and services by one person to the another the sales happens otherwise there is no nothing is happening if i'm talking to you if you're not getting me what i'm telling you there is no sales right i think there's the most easiest example people on this side of the audience uh, if you have, if you have any any challenge hearing me out let me please let me know hello yeah i think my voice is still audible without a camera my sorry uh, you guys are hearing me properly yes. okay are you getting me what i am telling you okay. great so then how it happens basically or rather i would say whom why whom i pick why any any questions now any answers because if we don't know our customers maybe in future when you go out and you come you know be hired in a company as a market executive or sales manager or whatever then you will say okay you got this target 1 crore in a year or 12 crore in a year how are you going to do it just go and sell but who are you going to send if you don't know the customer and in today's time let me tell you very honestly when you go out in the market you find a job it's easy but you find a career out of it is way way difficult 
And why I'm telling you because when I was doing my graduation, my VB honors, we were learning from the books or the projects we have done, but we still didn't know what is there and out in the market. We got job, but we don't know what to do, how to sell. So you have to take hard steps. Okay, so I'll cover maybe later on uh, the discussion. And then, who is the guy who does it? What is who out here? Which picture? Quickly. Okay, great. Anybody here? Okay, so why, why is the sales guy so important? What do you think? What he does so special? Okay, he does promotion. Anybody from here? Oh, I'm still listening. Hello, I can't hear you. Anybody? No answer from this side? Okay. Maybe? Okay. Because he's a guy who's intelligent enough not just to follow orders and become a sales, sales guy, end up his bucket end of the day after selling. He's not a vendor. Let me tell you very honestly. Sales guys are not vendors. They are not people with baggage who want to sell goods at the end of the day. If they not sell it today, they will sell it tomorrow. We have all seen Sabji Walas. Are they sales guys? Excuse me. BBA guys? Are they sales guys? What are they? Vendors. Why are they called vendors? Why are they not called sales professionals? Because sales professionals use intelligence. They use technology. They use data. They use data science and many more things like that. Why a salesperson is having a salary of 2 lakh rupees a month? Why the sabji wala? What is his income? Anybody knows? Anybody? Even somebody some, some vague ideas? What is his monthly income? Sorry? Okay, great. It's a good number. But is it constant? No. Does it give recognition? No. How you find it? Bhaiya, kitne ka diya? Nain, itna nahi lenge hum. Like that. But when you talk to a sales manager, how you approach? How you tell them? It's a process. Articles, manners. So it's very, very important who you want to be. You want to be a sales professional or you want just want to be a vendor? Most of people end up doing that way. They think sales is about selling and selling and selling. Target meet kar liya humne, boss push ho gaya, aamare job bas gaya, aisa nahi hota hai. Aise boss bhi nahi baste. And mind you guys, in my 18 year of career, I have seen a lot of people coming and going back. But what makes me thrive and work is my passion. So I am going to talk about it in some time later. Okay, so any, any questions on that? Please wrote, write down your questions if anybody has, okay? So we will move to the next one. Okay, so a bit, we did talk about sales as a process. Now, um, in your books or in your, uh, you know, lectures and notes and most your faculty must have told you about sales as a process, buyer, meet, seller, like uh, the lady just told me a few minutes back. So also, Understanding this is more of a technical thing, but in reality, it doesn't happen like that. It is not easy out there. Okay? No matter which brand you work with, no matter what product you are selling, you have to go through a process, not just a diagram. So understand what you are learning today, it going to make you aware how it happens nationally, globally, in different markets of the world, you know, in America, in India, in France, Germany, Japan. And let me tell you, with my experience, I work with a company, in, uh, you know, who's the Toyota, everybody knows Toyota, I guess, yeah? Okay? So I work with Toyota, so I have some different experience about sales. When I work with SSBC Bank, I have different experience working with them. Okay? When I work with a company which is an Indian made or maybe a four room or two room company, it's a different. So now every company has its own way of sales. 
So never undermine this potential of a sales guy or what exactly sales is. It's easy, but it's also difficult. Okay, as a process, we know this is going to happen. Okay, sales in daily life. I picked a very, very funny uh, picture. You might find it very funny, but I find it very relevant. What do you think? You guys on this side, how are you finding this picture? Can you relate that sales is happening on every day to day basis? It's everywhere. Agree? Can I see the hand? Okay, raise your hand, please. Who is not agree, please also let me know. Anybody who is not agree here? Okay, everybody agree. On this side, sales is everywhere. Okay, let me just give you a right example. When you start in the morning, what do you do? The first thing that you do in the morning? Brush. Which brush? Which toothpaste? Colgate. Oral B. Out here, BBA guys. Which brush? Which toothpaste? And who told you to buy a Colgate or a Bastolin or a Sensodyne for Sensitive? Yeah. And then you move on to the shower, the soap, the tank, whatever you are using. Is everybody, is, is everywhere there is a sales. When you start having your breakfast, somebody like to have bread. Which bread? You are remembering all this because reason being. But have you ever imagined who has created this world? Who has made your routine? Who has made you buy a, a, a pack of chips rather than buying a, you know, a sandwich? About sales? Everywhere there is sales. You, the moment you step out to your office or your, uh, you know, home, you go to a rickshaw, you are doing a bargain. Sales is everywhere. And let me tell you, who want to be sales professional, they need to wear those specs. So I am wearing a specs because of why I have a uh, bad eyesight. But at the same time, it's very important to have that specs. Because if you want to be a professional, you need to build that habit. And habit happens over a period of time. I'm sure uh, uh, is this psychology also part of the course? Okay. So when you, 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 you must have read the psychology, industrial person psychology, you talk about human nature behavior. But if you are a good sales guy, you will use all of that. Maybe next time when I will be there, I will cover those points. So sales is everywhere. You need to understand it and get comfortable with it. Okay? Then only you will be able to achieve something in the sales domain. Okay. Now, how you start a career in sales? Very important. How many, how many of you want to be a sales professional? Please give me an honest answer. Please raise your hand. Literally, till now, whatever you understood about sales and whatever. How many? I can't say. Can you guys raise your hand, please? So I know. Nobody on this side? You don't want to be a sales professional? Oh, everybody is so scared of targets. What is happening to buy you and all that? That is why. What's the reason? I'm sorry? If you can be louder, please. Bad selling strategies. Bad selling strategies. Okay. Okay. So out here, BBA guys who are all are there don't want to be a sales professional. Am I right? Agree? Okay. That's quite interesting. I'll get, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, come back to you on this. Anybody from here? Anybody who want to be a sales professional? And mind it, I'm a sales professional. Right? And I'm a decent looking guy, I'm sure. Educated, well earning, got everything. Word is of life and not doing well. So anybody who don't want to be a sales professional? No, not at all. Wow. This is my magical moment. <laughs> the entire crowd, where nobody wants to be sales professional, and we are talking about sales lecture. Interesting. But let me tell you, and I also guarantee you this, that after this session, you're still going to go back and think. When you go back home, you'll certainly think, 
to become a sales professional. Okay, that's I'll take it as a challenge. Let's see. Okay, so when you start a sales career, what is more important? See, uh, what I have seen, observed, that just passion, energy, enthusiasm, want to be a sales guy, not going to happen. Okay, but what? How it's going to happen is the first step. We call it education. Now, people who are studying BBA, BCom, maybe as you grow, you will understand that uh, some people will have responsibilities, some people will have challenges, and they end up being a sales professional by choice or by chance. But to survive and succeed, the first thing is very important. What you guys are doing here is education. So whatever you are learning today, learn it well. Not just learn it, understand it well. Practice it well. Okay? The another thing we talk about is project. How many of you guys have already done projects? Can you just raise your hand? Let me have an idea. Projects? Nobody has done it yet? I'm sorry? Any project you have done? Any project? Okay, please raise your hand who has done the project. Okay? Okay? Out, some people out there? Uh, somebody on this side? Any project guys? Any project before you have done so far? None? Okay, she has done it. Which, sub, which uh, what was the subject of the project? Uh, guys, can I hear her, please? We can start later on this. Yeah. Anybody, I saw a few hands here. Uh, please tell me about your present. Uh, what was the present? Okay. Okay. This was the topic. Okay. So, what was the outcome? What was the uh, crux of your project? What did you gain out of it? Guys, I want to listen to her. Uh, please have some patience. Yeah. Do we have a mic? Okay, please quickly. What was the end thing that you learned after the project? Okay. What is one thing if I tell you to pick? What did you learn? What will you do that? So guys, I, I just uh, thank you so much uh, uh, for you. I think your name, Lavanya and uh, your name, Soumya. Thank you guys for at least answering it. Okay, now when we are in school or we are in college or we are in university, we do projects to get numbers. That is the first priority. Am I right, sir? But behind this, the bigger picture behind the project are they help you evaluate yourself evaluate the subject and have a deep meaning and knowledge about it. So whenever you are doing a project, do it with a lot of energy, enthusiasm and try and learn out something out of it. Else you are going to get marks but not the experience. So project is all for experience. Okay, moving on next, we see internships. How many, if I tell you today uh, or maybe one year after one year, everyone want to be, uh, everybody want to do internship, am I right? Please raise your hand. Who, who guys want to do internship? Okay. I see no hands at the back. Nobody. Uh, anybody who's okay. Everybody interested on internship? Why? Great. So when you do project, do it for not only marks but also experience. Right? That's how you relate yourself with the projects. Okay. Great. Now. I have been given a topic that to talk about corporate level, ladder. Now this ladder start at a various level. But what is most important for you, that what ladder you are at. Have you ever, uh, I am sure most have heard about this, what analysis? Yes. Right? 
strength, weakness, opportunity. And after that, what we do? We evaluate ourselves. So before stepping or talking about a corporate later, ma'am, with which intern I am going to be intern or I am going to be executive manager, senior manager, business head, and all of that, please do assessment of yourself. Now to talk about corporate letter, I have worked with organizations where they are short letter, that means they have a less hierarchy. They are companies who got higher hierarchies and it purely depends on their customer base. See, you will you'll see there are manufacturers who are like automotive manufacturers. They are FMCGs and every organization has their own letter. So never get confused about the letter thing. It is, are you at the right place at the moment? So even if you are at the first step of the letter, you will understand the challenges. And even before that, assess yourself to find yourself at the right place and at the right time. Okay? So we will quickly move on to the next one. Uh, I have curated this particular slide specially for you guys. I know nobody wants to be sales profession, but after looking at this, you will understand why sales is so important. Okay? Now, what we can see here, the first thing, please read me loud. Anybody? Passion. So what passion is all about? I want to do this. Okay, I can do this. I got the ability and I got the skills. And I'm going to do it no matter what. That's called passion. Passion is something that drives you every day. It is not your target, it's not your salary, it's not your boss, it's not the company you're working for, it's you're working for yourself. Right? My name is Shravan Singh, I'm a brand Shravan Singh, okay? And for those people I've worked with, and I've gained this respect over a period of time, I don't have the audacity to talk about myself, but at the same time, I will prove that what I've done over the past, or what I'm capable of today, it's just not just by proof or not by chance. You have learned it over and over a period of time, and sales professional who are true professional are Dibundar passion. I think you must have said that money is the biggest motivator. Am I right? Everybody. But if I give you money and I tell you to do something which you don't want to do after office hour, will you do it? You'll, in today's generation, everyone want work-life balance. Right? But if you don't evaluate yourself, what will happen? Nothing. Okay? So passion is first, skills. Now, we talk about skills, there are multiple skills. I'm sure you've heard about hard skills, soft skills. Okay? And most of the time, we got education, qualification, and whenever there's a, you know, a campus placement, people fail in interviews. Why? You got 99 marks. Oh, people not even talk about soft skills. Most of people are not even aware of it. They have grown up. Now everybody is using a smartphone, am I right? Anybody is not having a smartphone, what the lady just said to uh, minister? So if you just go, go to Google and say soft skills. You don't have to even type nowadays. You know? There will be lists, videos and everything. But there is a lot of data available. But at the same time, what is important to you is very important. You know? Skills. So soft skills, hard skills, and a combination of other skills. Like today, if I talk about myself, I know data analysis. I have done digital marketing. I have done business analysis. Recently, I completed a uh, program on uh, negotiation skills. I keep learning myself. I'm keep, I, I keep learning new things. Because if I don't, you know, accumulate more skills, I'll be obsolete. People will not value you. My team will not value me. But I'm going to give, it, give them back. Okay? What they look up to you. 
if you are a manager, manager is just not managing the staff. It's about managing emotions, people, motivating them. So if you are not skilled enough, you can't upskill other people. Okay? Obviously, experience do come over a period of time, right? Also, team players. When you work in a larger organization or even smaller organization, you will be dealing with many people. And a sales guy has a most of his time, most of the time. He's dealing with finance, the marketing, and other departments, even after sales also. Sales is not about exchange of goods and services. Even after four sales, there are other things. There is a customer care. And mind it, it's very easy to sell one, once. But selling twice, thrice to the same person. That's take a mite of you. Okay? So being a sales professional, it's very important. Okay, communication, I believe in today's world, who's educated, not able to communicate about himself, who, who am I, what I do, what are my experiences, not going to work. Have you ever heard about elevator switch? Anybody out here? <coughs> elevator switch, am I audible? Elevator switch, anybody have heard about this side? Nobody? Nobody? Wow. Anybody? I, I said, I heard yes. Uh, somebody on this side? Uh, anybody say yes on this side? Okay. Yeah, please. Uh, I do not have a clear idea about elevator steps. Oh, please tell me what, what, what you know. What all I know is that you kind of combine all the strategies in an elevator stretch. So how the sales thing will work and what are your upcoming plans for your team. You kind of pitch that. Okay, it's a very fight, but uh, I'm sorry, that's not the right answer. Uh, yeah, anybody? Okay, if we give you a, it's a nice story. There was a great sales guy with a lot of skills, but as we know in America, we have one elevator switching another three to four minutes to reach the, the highest level, maybe 100 to 150. So this guy is very, very proficient, but at the same time, he he wanted an interview or something, he wanted to meet the director, but he has no time. The director moved at the last, last moment, and hence, he lost his chance. So all he got were two minutes. He went along with the chairman in the same lift, and within two minutes, he able to explain his idea. That's what I'm talking about. Who, who the hell I am? What can I do for you, the company? And what is going to give you the benefits? Two minutes. If I tell you today to explain yourself in two minutes, how many people will be able to do it out here? How many? I'm sure. There are, there are smart people than me out there who can do it in two minutes. Yes, you can. anybody can do that? Two minutes. 120 seconds. Anybody? <coughs> okay. Anybody on this side? No? What? It's possible. It's all about practice. So sales is all about not giving up. Okay, so now this guy got the opportunity of two minutes. And from there, this idea of elevated pitch come into play. Right? So sometime when you go for an interview, and I'll share with my experience, my biggest interview was 20 minutes or 15 minutes to the max. When I'm talking to the senior manager or uh, maybe a CEO of a company, or a director, most of the time. Because I am already at a current degree at a leadership group. Two minutes. Right? So all these fundamental things you will learn and then you understand that how important and challenging this world of sales is. But at the same time it is rewarding also. Okay? Obviously, 
We talk about empathy. How many people know about empathy? English uh, honors? Empathy. Uh, if you can give me a little insight, please. Give you guys empathy. Anybody? Empathy? No? Okay, please raise your hand. Yeah, yeah, please, please. I, I, guys, I want you to listen to our carefully. Yeah. Basically, what empathy is, is you put yourself in the other shoes and understand from their point of view, about the situation. Okay. Somewhat like that. Anybody else? Anybody on this side? Yes, please. Empathy. What exactly empathy is all about? Okay, it's a red flag. But yes, empathy is that when you understand, not only that there is a transition, there is also a human factor. I am sure you must have heard about EQ. Earlier it was only IQ. It was just based on their IQ and girls. Okay? So, when you have empathy, not only with your customers, but also other people, you grow in life. People always remember you, mind it. You will sell it once, but you will not sell it twice and thrice and multiple times. Even in the US market, you talk about international experience, especially in real estate and other where it's high turnkey projects. The sales guy knows everything. He knows the customer so well, when his word is coming, when his wife's word is coming, how many kids they got, what's his name of his dog, when his dog is word is. Right? It's not that easy. But it's very interesting that you know your customer so well that you create that bond. And suddenly, it's not easy when you sell a house of what, million dollar? Okay? But only who can do it, who will have that empathy, understanding. Knowing your customer is very, very important and crucial. And going ahead will be more and more difficult because now we have got AI, we got tools, technology. Now customers are much smarter than the sellers. So sales can need to be one step ahead all the time. Okay? Then, obviously, desire to achieve, willingness to do more without being pushed by anybody. This is the point I want to highlight here. You will do by yourself, not by somebody else said something to you. Okay? Acceptance to failure. Let me tell you honestly guys, somebody who has not failed in their life, not going to <coughs> succeed. It's not about that you have failed in your exams. Please, be my guest. If you fail, it is fine, but if you are not even given a shot, if you have not even tried for it, if you not worked hard, if you not, you know, make notes, and you think I have failed, oh wow, I have done the great thing. That is not I am talking about here. So when you are challenged to do something out of your capacity and you fail, but at the same time, you have not just failed, you have learned something out of it. And it's going to help you whenever you will be approaching again for the same kind of a, you know, target or something that you want to achieve earlier. Resilience is also a part of it, wherein we talk about that uh, resilience ko Hindi mein hum kehte hain jujharu par, right? Sab logo Hindi aati hai pe, right? Okay guys, yeah. So uh, resilience is very very important because nobody going to, you know, just vouch on you that, okay, this is going to happen. No. It is you. You have to motivate yourself. You have to constantly work, improve yourself to become not only a great professional, but also a great person. That is the, where the results come into play. Okay? So, now we move on to what are the careers. I, I, I want somebody out here just uh, tell me what exactly is the picture is all about. 
So till now, people who are thinking sales is just a, you know, it's a boring task, bad targets, bad people out there. You have to tell yourself, go out in the sun, dust, meet people, being trash, being ugly spoken, all of that. But let me tell you honestly, sales professionals are the most important in any of the industry you have ever thought of. I don't know what the space would be, not be at one person, two person. But in every industry, you talk about retail, you talk about fashion, you talk about education. Every industry requires the sales professional, without whom nothing will happen. Nothing at all. Okay? So if you decide to be a sales professional, you got a highway of opportunities, not only in India, also in abroad. But for that, you have to start from the beginning. Okay? Now, uh, as we move on to the next, uh, so we have our question is action uh, session. So I'm open to all your questions. Please. I'm sure you must have written all the questions. Yeah? So guys, any, any questions for, uh, from anybody from here? Any questions? questions, they are very, very interesting and I really find them very relevant. So if you guys can just quickly go through them, so uh, you will, if you are looking for answer, I am here. Please. Are these your questions? Are you sure? Please go through them and let me know. Okay. questions? Anybody has some other questions? You can come in the front and see if the uh, uh, want to see, I don't know from that is Yeah? Any questions? I didn't know to see that anybody has some questions. Yeah. Okay, yeah, from here it's quite not visible. But okay, any questions? Nobody? Okay, so if these are the questions uh, I've got through the consensus of uh, most of the students. Okay. Now, uh, when we look at the first questions, what we see here, like, as we know that technology has become a major, major tool. Now, if you go talk to a sales guy, uh, mostly who are young and energetic, who are working with big companies, they are digging a lot of data. Okay. Now, data has been, uh, they get populated through various tools. Could be Salesforce, people are using CRM and other tools. But at the same time, if you don't know exactly what the data is all about. So, let me give you an example that how it works. So, like, each of you are here. Uh, I, I would be needing your five more minutes, guys. So, please be attentive. Yeah? So, for me, like, I got various names, men and women, men and women, okay? Okay, then I got your names and your mobile number, which is unique, right? Okay, now this is basically a data, okay? Now, what I'm going to do with this data? Nothing. So how I'm going to drive information? So what sales team or tools or software does, they approach you through your unique number, which is mobile, or an email, understanding, asking your interest. 
I'm sure everybody goes to everybody goes to the mall. We do online shopping, and suddenly you find there's a message popping up: sales, sale, okay, fifty percent off this brand, that brand. How it is happening? I have never shared my number. So all this data being captured and concluded in an information. Now, unless only data is converted in information, it is of no use. Okay? So if I've got your names, if you've got your numbers, email ID, it's not useful, and that I know. What he is liking or what he is not liking, then only I can use the information. So nowadays, more of the companies are using data points, creating them into information and driving campaigns, email campaign, Facebook campaign, whatever, Facebook, I mean, everywhere. And I see sales everywhere. So you're going in a bus, you're going in a metro, announcement happening, message coming up, you're scrolling your mobile, you know, there's an ad popping up all the time because it has captured your information. First they capture data, then information, and they drive results from there. Okay? So that leads to uh, most of the questions that we have here, and uh, then obviously, you see, uh, I've been given talking about sales targets and pressure. Let me tell you very honestly, if you are a great salesperson, you are never afraid of your targets. At least I've never been afraid of what I'm going to achieve. Let's say I have a target of 12 in a year. How many I want to do? How many? How much I can do in a month? It's up to me. One or two, or at least one I need to do. But if I don't break down my entire year target or a month's targets on a day to day basis, I'm not, never going to achieve it. Secondly, if I'm not educated enough, I will not realize. If I don't have a communication skill, I'm not, I'm not able to talk to my customers. If I'm not technology savvy, I didn't know what they're using, where to put my ads, either on a Facebook or a Twitter or a LinkedIn, where. Right? So that is also very crucial and you need to understand that sales is a tough task. But at the same time, it's the most simplest thing you have ever done in your life. The only thing you need to develop a knack of it. And then obviously, a uh, few things I like to take, take up here is that, see when it comes to corporate, uh, the way it works is a very mechanized way. And let me tell you very honestly and humbly, it might be offending, sounds little ugly, but we are the largest population, skilled population for the world. If I fire one person, I have ten more at a lesser price. That's the reality. That's a harsh reality. And only and only one who will develop himself, learn, acquire skills, will only survive. Okay? So I, I would like to, uh, you know, conclude this uh, lecture or I would call it presentation, wherein my idea was to share with you not only the experience, but what you got here. See, this time not going to come by again next. What Gautam Buddha just said, that everybody knows they feel that they have got time. I'm sure everybody knows Gautam Buddha, right? Everybody? This is a great thing he said, that people believe they, they have time. So whatever time you got, in an hour or a day, in an entire day, spend some time introspecting about yourself. People who like to edit it, please do. But please evaluate yourself. Because the moment you go into out of this college, university, and some people may have that privilege, they get good brands, good companies, some may not. But if you develop yourself over a couple of years, you'll have a better chance to grow. So with that note, I'd like to, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, guys, can I have a moment, please? Everybody? Yes. I think my question will answer a lot of other people's questions too. Okay. Who are hesitant enough not to ask? Yeah. So, so since we're talking about the career trajectory, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so, uh, a lot of us in the audience still might be confused. Is there any difference or similarity between the career trajectory of a day school session and that of So out there, uh, I'm sure everyone knows what is the difference between sales and marketing, right? Sure? Okay. Oh, great. So when it comes to trajectory, so trajectory is a path, a method, or technique, how are you going to go there? But if you look at sales being the most talked about subject, it has more, more challenges compared to marketing. Because marketing, we, are, we can do the marketing being in the office. But to market what we require is a data. Either it's a trend or it's a previous data. Based on that, a marketing strategy can be made or designed. But at the same time, for a sales professional, it is most of first-hand experience. Okay? And I'm sure anybody having first-hand experience is far better than having a secondary data. I'm sure you must have read about various kind of data that we like, primary, secondary, tertiary, and law and all of that. Right? So this is something uh, very, very important. So they, whenever they start their career, it may sound similar, but over the period of time as your responsibilities, as your product grows, it goes away and can be seen apart as a sales and a marketing professional. But it, it will mingle at times, it is so-called part of the same coin sometimes, but eventually it drives in a different manner after it starts further. Okay, any questions? <laughs> now, uh, for you guys, uh, for guys who want to be a sales professional, better than me, I'm sure, you got talent, you got abilities, you can always reach out to my uh, LinkedIn account, you can also reach out to Map, and also uh, people who want to start their career in sales, who want to do internship, they can also reach out to Mac. And uh, let me honestly uh, promise you guys, whatever in my capacity, I am going to help you guys. Because I know I was the same student sitting in this you know, benches and how I studied. And it's been 18 years. I never looked back. But whenever I've looked back, I've seen the journey I went through. And that helps me not only gain that confidence, but also the respect which I've got in the dust. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank College student, faculty, and administration, we would like to extend our heartfelt gratitude to Mr. Sharvan Singh for this in insightful and interactive session about sales and management. We are certain that today's session will prove to be an instrumental one in our students' success. The most unprofitable item ever manufactured is an excuse. Don't leave today's session with notes and missed notifications on your phone. Leave with a new mindset. Be the person who makes things happen, not the one who makes excuses for why they didn't happen. Thank you for being an amazing crowd today and for joining us. But before you guys leave, I request all of you to remain seated so that we can mark your attendance. Thank you.